Why won't this fucking thing work? Jesus fucking Christ, why won't it fucking work? Oh, oh, I'm live. Hopefully no one heard that. Hello, folks. I hope you're well. It's, um, Paddy O'Shacklestein here, also known as the Donegal Martyr. The only living martyr in the world, folks. Um, I'd like to wish all me patriots and all me patrons, I'd like to wish you a holy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're having a good time and you're enjoying the festivities. And I hope you're not overdoing it on the old alcohol. So would you, um, folks, um, you know, I've been out all day working, so I have, um, you know, I have a bit of a knack for picking up four-leaved clovers. And what I do is I sell the four-leaf clovers to some very, very rich Chinese businessmen. Uh, they're billionaires, folks. And uh, they pay top money for a four-leaf clover. So to do. So uh, you can't really see it, but I was up there, up the hill. I was going around in the scrub. And I found a few of them, so I did. Um, now, by the way, folks. Uh, it's possible in about a month's time there's going to be uh, a lawsuit uh, against me by a number of Chinese businessmen. Um, you know, so why am, I, why am I telling you this? It'll all be in Chinese. You won't be able to read it. Oh, one second. I forgot about Google Translate. Um, so I might as well, I might as well give you the lowdown, folks. It's possible that. Um, a month from now, there's going to be a lawsuit against the Donegal Martyr for selling. Just wait for the wind to die down. Fucking wind. Every fucking time I record. So, um, if I don't get interrupted by the wind again. Fierce and I in the wind, folks. So, um, a month from now, it's possible that if you, you know, very um, powerful uh, Chinese business people are going to, you know, they're going to try and sue the Donegal Martyr, saying that I sold them, uh, I sold them normal three-leaf clovers with a fourth leaf glued on. Folks, I want you to know that this is fake news, folks. It's not true. Um, they're out to get me, folks. It's the Chinese Communist Party, because I'm always talking down communism, you know. By the way, folks, uh, I'm available this Sunday. And uh, so I could I could go down as far as Dublin. So if you want me to protest, folks, against the Russians at the Russian embassy, if you want me to throw a bit of red paint on the gates of the Russian embassy, um, you know, send me the money that you'd be willing to give me. Send me the figure, and we might be able to do business. Likewise, if you want me to go to the Ukrainian embassy and throw red paint on the railings of the Ukrainian embassy, folks, send me uh, the figure that you'd be willing to give me and whoever offers the bigger figure you know i'll be willing to support you 110 percent so I would um also folks oh uh, yeah st patrick was a great man folks you know he got rid of all the snakes you know he got rid of all the snakes in ireland um so you know we really owe st patrick a lot um but uh, oh by the way folks do you remember i made a video last year i uh, know it was about two years ago i told you that uh, i got him a car and I went all the way to Falkara and I hopped on the ferry across to Tory Island and I climbed down the, the cliffs of Tory Island and went into a wee cave and I found a load of jars of organic folks, organic snake oil and I sold them. Well folks, you wouldn't believe it, I was in my shed, I was in my shed there a few days ago, I was I was um, dealing drugs and uh, you wouldn't believe it, uh, I went to, to get a little package that I had hidden and when I lifted up the package, I found, folks, I found a dozen jars of organic snake oil. Folks, you can't get this snake oil anywhere else, folks. You know, and when it's gone, it's gone. Because, you know, the snakes aren't coming back to Ireland, you know. They're not coming back, folks. They've long since slithered off that the mortal coil, as it were, folks. So, that'll be on the website, folks. DonegalMartyr.com. Go on to it and get your organic Tory Island snake oil, folks. Get your snake oil. Because as I say, folks, when it's gone, when it's gone, it's gone, folks. It's very good for the arthritis. Fear's good for the clap, folks. Uh, whatever ails you, folks. Tory Island snake oil is the way to go, you know. Um, 
So there's something else I wanted to say. Um, yeah, folks, uh, you know, uh, if you do, you know, if, if it's possible that it comes out about these Chinese men suing me for selling them a uh, three-leafed clover with a fourth leaf glued on, I want you to believe, folks, believe what I'm telling you. You know, it's a load of crap. It's a load of baloney. So anyway, folks, um, that's about it. Um, I'm just going to get down to my knees here and say a few wee prayers. Um, you know, someone, some absolute joker sent me an email there a few days ago saying, you know, do I ever pray on my own? And, I, you know, I nearly laughed my head off when I heard this. You know, why would anyone pray on their own to God? You know, why would anyone want, you know, a private conversation with God when you can simply turn on your camera, your webcam or your mobile phone? You can have a hundred people there in the live chat. And while you're praying, folks, they're donating money. I tell you, it's a great way to make money, folks. Praying to God in front of a hundred people on the internet. Um, usually I close my papers when I'm praying to God, but I leave one paper slightly open so I can keep an eye on the live chat and see what sort of donations are coming in. So I'm going to get down my knees here, folks. You're going to see the camera, folks. You're going to see the camera go lower because that's me getting down my knees. So here we go, folks. <sighs> Bend the old knees here, folks. Oh, that's a tough one. <sighs> so I'm going to say... Dear God, um, thank you for uh, another St. Patrick's Day. Um, you know, I don't know what to say really. I'm just just going to mount off whatever comes into my head and just keep my eye open here in the live chat to see if any donations are coming in. By the way, folks, uh, and God as well, uh, this week on Subscribe Star, there will be a video going up on Sunday. Now, last Sunday was Speed for Avonburg on about charisma and prickly pears. Uh, this Sunday, it's not going to be me. It's not going to be... It's not going to be... Um, Speak for Raven, or it's going to be someone else, folks, on Sunday. So check that out. Um, there's people behind me now, and this is this is the main part of my video. And there's people behind me now. I can hear them talking. So I think you know. I have to stand up, folks, because there are people right behind me, breathing down me fucking neck. So they were. Ah, they're slowly going by. So I'll get back down to my knees here. So anyway, dear God, um, you know. Just a few, just what you do, by the way, folks, if you want to make, you know, if you want to beg for money, and by the way, folks, I'm in the red, I need, you know, uh, I've got to tell you, actually, uh, I'll, get back, I'll get back up for a second, I forgot to tell you this, folks, um, when I was up there looking for the, uh, you know, the four-leaf clovers for the Chinamen, ah, uh, uh, it's a fair sad story, folks, when I, ca when I come down here, folks, ah, uh, I looked down at my feet and one of the gold buckles was gone from my leprechaun brogues. So please folks, there'll be a new fundraiser for my leprechaun brogues. Now folks, the good news is I believe I'll be able to retrieve the gold buckle. What I need is to get my metal detector. Now I do have a metal detector, but the battery is gone. So I went to the shop and I said to the man, can I have two batteries there for my metal detector? And he says, I'm sorry, but he says, your metal detector is very old and we don't make those batteries anymore. So I went on the internet, folks, and um, the guy told me it would cost 100,000 euro to get the two batteries from your metal detector. Um, I told him, I said, you know, I really need, you know, I really need those batteries because I need to retrieve uh, the gold buckle from a leprechaun brogues. Um, um, he recognized me all of a sudden. He said, oh, he said, you're the Donegal Martyr. He said, I love, I love the work that you do. He said, I love the work that you do. You're a true national. He said, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll sell you the batteries for 50,000. He said, and you'll have until Sunday, St. Patrick's weekend. He said, until midnight on Sunday to come up with the money. He said, otherwise, I'll sell them to someone else. So, um, now some, some people have, have asked me, they said, would you not just buy, you know, you could buy a, a, a new metal detector for about 50 euro. Uh, from Amazon and uh, you could go up and get you know you could go up there and find your leprechaun leprechaun bro gold buckle and that'd be that but folks if I did that if I bought a new if I bought a new metal detector for 50 euro you know I wouldn't be able to uh, set up a fundraiser for 50,000 euro for batteries batteries for my old metal detectors go go up in my old metal detector I find the gold buckles from leprechaun brogues so um that's the reason folks um you know New, new metal detector would mean no 50,000 euro fundraiser, so I need the 50,000 euro fundraiser, folks. I'm in the red. Please, folks, I'm begging you. Um, I'm going to get back down to my knees. I'm praying to you people, and I'm praying to God at the same time. Um, just to show you serious, I'm down to my knees here, folks. Back down to my knees. Um, and, uh, 
this is what you do when you want to beg for money, folks, right? You get your, you get your wee, you get your woolly hat. See your woolly hat here, folks. Me, let me. I'm just trying to fix up, gushy up me. It's inside out. Me hat's inside out. One second, folks. Ah, uh, you get the picture anyway, folks. What you do is you throw a few shekels. Look, see there, folks. You throw a few shekels on your hat. You throw a few shekels. Now, if you see those shekels, folks, don't know if you can see them very well, folks, but they're two pennies. They're all two pennies. If you have a, a penny, that's great as well. Maybe one ten cent piece. Don't put a euro or a two euro kind, because people then won't feel sorry for you. They'll say, ah, sure, look. No, he already has, he already has a euro, or he already has uh, two euro. Um, you know, and you know, like if you put 20 euro, you know, if you put 20 euro on it, like sure, no one's going to give you any money at all. So you put a few pennies on your hat, and what you do is you shake the hat, you know, you say, say, please, folks, I need a few shackles. Please, folks, I'm in the rad. I'm in the rad, you know, please, folks. So, folks, I'm begging you, folks, I need 50,000 euro to get the batteries for me old metal detector so I can go up yonder. Go beyonder. Go beyonder, folks. Go beyonder. There's a fucking wind again, for fuck's sake. Jesus fucking Christ. So I'm going to be under, folks. And retrieve my gold bucket from my leprechaun bros. Because this under, folks, I'm going to a Kaylee Fashion Good door. And to be a real narcissist, I need to be spruced up. I need my leprechaun bros. Good order. I need the gold buckles nicely polished. Both gold buckles can't go there with one gold buckle, folks. So come on, folks. Come on, folks. Spare a few. Spare a few shackles for the Johnny Gold Martyr. And uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way, folks. Happy St. Patrick's Day. But... The most important message of all, folks. 50,000 euro. Need to get that money to the guy who's a big fan of what I do. Need to get it to him by Sunday night, midnight, folks. 50,000 euro to get the gold buckle. Retrieve it with the metal detector. He bought gold buckle. And then I can go and dance the night away in Guador, Counter Donegal. There's St. Patrick's weekend. Toodaloo, folks. Toodaloo.